to be seen again. Oh, what a sad story. Oh! Nelson! <laughs> You're so naughty. <laughs> Scratch my back? Oh, you're so spoiled. Mmm, yes. How do you stay underwater for so long? Well, dolphins, porpoises, whales, we can stay down as long as we like. Oh, I wish I could. Uh, now, left, right. Mm. Oh, sure you can. A person, you mean? Stay underwater? Yes, it's a special way of doing things. It's called dolphin think. Ah, oh, will you teach me? Yes. Uh, but because you're such a good back scratcher. Oh, Nelson. Of course I'll teach you, and I'll do it because you're the only human who's ever really learned the language of the animals. Well, it wasn't like learning. You know, like learning French or Japanese. What do you mean, learning is learning? Or are you so smart you just knew it? Like magic? Yes, that's right. Like magic. I hope you can learn dolphin think as easily as that. Me too. If you do, you'll be like one of us. You'll breathe like us, you'll never be cold in the water again, and you'll be able to speak without even opening your mouth. But how? How can that be? It's easy, once you know how. No, 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 no. Relax. Fold your flippers. Mm. Flippers? <laughs> Arms. Fold your arms and slip into the water. And carefully sit down. Like this? Mm -mm. Hear like a dolphin. See like a dolphin. Speak like a dolphin. Breathe like a dolphin. Be like a dolphin. <gasps> well? Twenty minutes. I didn't take a breath for 20 minutes. I wasn't cold, and I could hear you in my mind. And you could hear me. But we didn't talk. I didn't know I was so clever. Of course, you do have a good teacher. No. Come on, it's not over yet. There's more? Of course there's more. You can't just sit at the bottom of the ocean all day. You must be able to swim. I can swim. No, no, I mean swim properly. Move quickly and gracefully, like this. And this. You move your tail up and down as fast as you can. Tail? Uh, your back, silly. Uh, uh, come on, follow me. Do what I do. Oh. I can't do it. You can. Uh-uh. My arms and legs go... They go all funny. It's all right for you. Look, Dot, we had arms once, you know, and legs. Truly, dolphins and porpoises and whales, we all used to live on the land. Was that millions of years ago? Then we came into the sea for a little visit and stayed. <sighs> I'll try. But go slowly, please. Something's wrong. Listen. Oh, that's awful. What is it? Shh. There's trouble. It's a sea creature in trouble. Tonga. I think they're saying Tonga. That's her name. It's a whale. What happened? I don't know. It's, it's all mixed up. She's hurt. Where? Uh, down the coast, on a beach somewhere. I've got to go now. I want to come. I want to help. Dot, she's a whale. I want to help her. Don't you understand? A whale. What can you do? Nelson, take me to her, please. All right. But remember, dolphin think.
I'll wait for you here. Good luck. Hmm. Tonga, what happened? Won't you tell me? No one's going to hurt you anymore. Yay, well. No. Oh. No. Oh, hey, what are you doing? What do you think we're doing? Making mud pies. You want another one? None of your business anyway. It is so my business. And you'd better stop. We can do what we like. We can throw sand if we like. It's a free country. If you can, so can I. Better watch it, kid. Don't you throw that. Go away! Ah! Hey! Ow! Go away! Oh! Come on, she's mad. I said, go away! Pigs. Cruel pigs. Oh, I wish you'd tell me what happened. I know you can hear me, Tony. No. I can understand you. No. See? I know your name. Oh, what am I going to do with you? All right. What do you want to do? You want some more? No, no. Me and Alex, we've come to say sorry. We didn't mean to hurt the whale. Well, you could have. Easily. They've got this really thin skin. See? Just like paper. We only wanted to frighten him back into the water. We knew he'd die if he stayed here. It's she. It's a girl whale. And her name's Tonga. Tonga? How do you know that? Because the whale told her, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't. I was only joking. Nelson told me. Nelson, I suppose. He's a jellyfish. No, he's a dolphin. Uh, a dolphin? Oh, a what? I can't do this on my own. Forget it, she's too big. Can we try? The sand might be slidey underneath where it's wet. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh, stop! We've got to push all together. Yeah, all together. One, two, three, push! <laughs> Again, uh. one, two, three, push! Oh. 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 Now what? I don't know. I suppose we'll have to get help. Grown-ups? Yes. Oh, that's a pity. They make such a fuss. And they take so long to do anything. Yeah. Kids are best to get things done. You're right. Look, I'm going to find out what to do. It's going to be hot today, so we've got to keep her cool. We've got to keep her cool. How? Maybe towels and things to make a cover or something. Can you find a bunch of kids? Yeah, easy. Yeah, of course we can. I can get lots of stuff. I got an old bed cover. Come on, Owen. We'll be real quick. Bye. No fish. If you had worked the harder, this wouldn't have happened. I some day I'm a going to. Hey, boy, I what's all of the noise about? There's a whale on the beach. A whale? Oh, Tonga. I don't know why you're here. Lots of whales do this. Come up here like this. Onto the beaches? Why? It is a hard life in the sea, but it's pretty hard on the land. <gasps> Tonga, you're, you're crying. <gasps> Tonga, <gasps> oh, tell me. <laughs> the ocean. Oh, how I love the ocean. It was my world. Oh, I remembered mother. So gentle, my father, so big and strong. Mother, see, mother of us all, mother, see, we can hear your call. Mother, see, mother, see, mother of us all, mother, see, we can hear. 
anymore. There's nothing left. No place to go. No family. No friends. I'm your friend. You've got lots of friends. There. Look at them. They want to help you. Dot. Hey, Dot. Look what we got. Come on. Let's put up a tent. Bring the towels and things. I'm going to get the water. We'll make a fence so no one can get in. Yay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. We'll dig a trench to the water. Tonga, I'm not listening to you. It's dreadful what happened. But that doesn't mean we're going to watch you die and not do anything. Dot, we've got something for you. It's a sort of present. Yeah. Go on. Give it to her. Well, it's a special one. I found it. You can hear the sea. And music. I heard music. Thank you. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Oh. Put towels on top, and you've got to keep them wet. Oh, all the buckets here. Bring the buckets. No. She breathed through there. Hurry it up. Another one. Over there. Come on, Charlie. Over here, stupid. What are you doing? No, this way. Whee! Make a fence. Yeah, make a fence. Oi, that one. Here, over here. Bill, this way. Here on Sandy Beach, the whale was stranded in the early hours of this morning, and it has already attracted a large crowd of spectators. Marine biologist Jenny Fish reports. Well, Bruce, we've never had a whale on Sandy Beach before, but there's a first time for everything. Of course, whale strandings are nothing new with Australia's thousands of miles of coastline. It's not unusual for whales to beach themselves, a mystery that scientists are still trying to solve. Where are you going? I've got this idea. All you've got to do is keep Tonga safe. Yes, dear, of course. I, I've thought of it, but what can I possibly do? I've seen her, Mrs. Penglis. She'd fit in the big pool easily. There's miles of room. Well, not exactly miles. Certainly large enough for her to stay in till she recovers. That's true. Will you let her try? Will you let her stay, please? Or would you bring her here and let her stay? I, I can't do anything about getting the whale to Ocean World. Impossible. But I... If the whale is brought here, we'll look after it. All right? But you must get transport. Oh. oh. How do I get transport for Tonga? Where do I look? Oh, there must be some way. I just can't let Tonga die on the beach. Oh, I can't think of anything. I don't know what to do. Dot? Hmm? There is a way to make Tonga return to the sea. 
how? She'll return if Moby Dick tells her to. Moby Dick? The white whale? Yes. But Moby Dick's not true. He's in a story. He might be in a story, but he's still true. He rules all the seas. He's old and very wise. Well, let's ask. Come on. Wait. He's very hard to find. Does he know about Tonga? Oh, yes. He knows about everything that happens in the ocean. And Tonga will do what Moby Dick says? All the creatures of the sea obey Moby Dick. I want to see him. Dot? Take me, Nelson, please. All right, but it's a long way. And it will be dangerous. What? <laughs> Anything looks good when you're hungry. Ooh. Moby Dick said we're not allowed to eat those things. I didn't hear him. I'm a bit deaf. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh! oh. No? Something about a little snack. And they said Moby Dick, I think. Show up! Not sharks! about lunch. It, it was a joke. <laughs> and it's not fair. Polly! Oh, 
You're a funny looking fish. I'm not a fish. I'm a person. Hello, underwater person. Hello. Maybe you could help me. I'm trying to find Moby Dick. Oh, no one knows where... Uh... Well, sorry, I mean, I'm trying to find the Golden Dragon. And then, when I find him, he'll tell me where Moby Dick is. And I'll find Nelson again. Nelson? No, no, don't worry about Nelson. Just the Golden Dragon. The ocean is so big. Please, it's very important. Hmm, uh, let's see. I know he lives somewhere. My father told me that. Yes? And I know that the Golden Dragon lives in a ship. Will you take me there? Um, no. But... <gasps> Don't worry. He'll take you. He'll take you. <laughs> I was only joking. Graveyard of ships. Oh. Looks like a museum, don't you think? History all around. Uh, look. What is it? A canoe. A bark canoe. The Aborigines made them 40,000 years ago. Oh. Oh, and there. Explorers. Spanish and Portuguese. And a clipper. Clipper? A clipper ship used to carry wool to England, and wheat, too. A whaling ship, American. Ah, and what do you think of this? It's just an old gun. That's right, thrown overboard when their ship hit the barrier reef. Whose ship? The greatest explorer of them all. <gasps> Captain Cork. <gasps> From the endeavor. Yes. And the golden dragons in this graveyard. Somewhere. Not here. Not this one. No. Ah, this one. I remember now. He's in a ship. Ah, a ship made of wood. My uncle told me that. The golden dragons inside. And it's around here. Ah, this is the one. Say hello to the golden dragon for me. Oh, you can say hello yourself. No, thank you. Why not? Well, don't tell anyone. I'm scared. Bye. Good luck. Bye, Turtle. Thank you. <clears throat> Drake? Very good, Drake.
Oh. A fish? Uh, what do you expect? A kangaroo? I, I don't know what. The golden dragon, perhaps? I'm not golden, and I'm certainly not a dragon. A turtle told me that he's... Turtle? That's just like a turtle. You can't believe a word those turtles say. There's no one here except me and old crab face. I've never seen a single golden dragon. Well, that glass is pretty dirty. You couldn't see much through it anyway. Actually, I can't see a thing. Well, then why didn't you come out? I like it in here. Close the door, please. I can see too much. <sighs> oh, crab face? Who is old crab face? Talking to that cheeky toadfish. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I have got a crab face, and I'm very old. I was looking for the golden dragon. A golden drake? Uh, no, golden dragon. <laughs> yes, the golden drake. It's Dutch for golden dragon. It's a Dutch ship. I remember that. Terrible storm. Oh, it was like yesterday. And it sank here. Oh, no, 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 not quite here. It's drifted a lot in the last 300 years. 300 years? And you saw it sink? Oh, it was a horrible night. Oops. Uh, yes. Of course, I was just a youngster then. Here's the entry in the ship's log. On our way from Holland to the East Indies, packed with cargo and boxes of gold. Reap! Reap ahead! Watch the mainsail! She's gone! She's gone! Higher down! Over got sacred! Over your positions! Watch that mainsail! Nothing more, except seven rusted guns and 36 cannonballs. It just goes to show. It just goes to show what? It just goes to show uh, something, I, I, I suppose. Hmm? Hmm. Now, now there's no golden dragon. So I still don't know how to find Moby Dick. I do. Moby Dick's down in the ice. Ice? Antarctica. He goes there this time every year. Oh, but Antarctica, there's not enough time to get... There's all the time in the world. There isn't. Tonga will die. Tonga? She's a whale, and she's up on the beach. So many theories about why these whale strandings occur at all. Is it a plain suicide? But for what reason? A failure of the whale's sophisticated navigation system in a storm, for instance? Again, there is evidence that lots of them will come ashore to help an injured whale. To 
comfort him, perhaps, but at Sandy Beach, there's only one whale. Another mystery of the sea. Oh, oh, yeah. Who's this? He talked his way past the sentry. He reckons he's got some advice about Tonga. Yeah. Yeah, he reckons he's an expert or something. Better hear him then, eh? Sorry, mister, about the kids giving you a hard time. Ah, uh, yes. I should think so. You can help us with the whale? Yeah, uh, sure. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hi. You're doing everything wrong. Like what? Well, for a start, you got to take off of those towels and things. Why? Because he can't breathe, of course. It's a blocking his gills. And no air can get in. You're mad, mister. Whales don't have gills. Oh, don't they? <laughs> At the shows are just how much you know about a fish. I don't know very much about the wombats. I couldn't tell a ferret from a flea. But if you want to learn about the octopus or rainbow trout, just ask me. <laughs> I know all about the whales. I know all about the whales. From the gills down to their tails, from their nostrils to their scales. I know all about the whales. I may not be an expert on dingoes or possums up a eucalyptus tree. But anyone who's really keen on creatures who are submarine, you just ask me. Because I know all about the whales. I know all about the whales. From the gills down to their tails, from their nostrils to their scales. I know all about the whales. <laughs> you have to agree that a scholar like me with a master's degree in the fishology is the authority in all the matters concerned with the sea. That's how I know about the porpoise and the dolphin and the turtle and the whale, sturgeon and the salmon and the bream. Mullet and a mackerel and a whiting and a hake, as long as it knows how to swim. Cockles and the mussels and the winkles and the whelks, halibut and the herring and the skate. Pilchards and the yappies and the redfish and the pike and the octopus all on the plate. <laughs> Collies and the congas and the kippers and the cod, haddock and the whiting and the seal, sardines and the turtle and the seahorse and the shark, and all of them make a good meal. Yes, I know all about, can recall about, drool and roll about, sing and squall about, free for all about, cat a all about, short and tall about, big and small about, I know all about the whales. Hang on. Just what sort of expert are you, anyway? Well, it's not the matter for you. I run the fish and chip shop up the road. What? What? You old fraud! Ah. Expert! <laughs> hey, what you do that for? Hop it! Hop it! Yeah. Yeah, what do you want us to do? Put salt and vinegar on her? It's a whale, not a fish. So too, but it's all right now. I found you. And I know where Moby Dick is. He's in Antarctica. Well, come on then. It's live coral. Oh! Ow. Dot! Oh, it hurts! It hurts! It's poison. <laughs> Did it go in? 
Sit down. No, no, not there. Here. What's wrong? I... I don't know. I'm gonna... I don't feel well. Dot! Dot! If she doesn't get help soon, she'll die. What help? Out here? The Oracle. Oracle? What Oracle? Where is this Oracle? Come! One, two, three. Up! Follow us! What do we do? Wait for the oracle. Please, the girl's so sick. I, I think she's dying. Yes, yes. Coral poisoning. But she didn't hurt the coral. Why did they do this to her? She stepped on them. The coral insects are living creatures, the same as we oh. are. They defended themselves the only way they know how. But uh, poison? Well, if they don't look after themselves, there soon wouldn't be any more coral in the sea. They'd end up as coral earrings and necklaces. Is your foot better? Nelson, what are you talking about? You don't remember? Oh, the only thing I remember is that we have to get to Antarctica quickly to find Moby Dick. So come on! All right. What is it, Dot? No whale. There's something on the shore. Seals, I think. And penguins. Oh, come on, we'll ask them. Hello? Excuse me. Do you know where I can find Moby Dick? Never sleep on duty. Duty? 
Yes, minding the egg. Oh, it must be very hard being a mother out here. I wouldn't know anything about being a mother. I'm a father. It's my duty to mind the egg while my wife gets a bite to eat. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Ah. 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 Oh, I, I didn't know. All you penguins look the same to me. Ooh, how curious. All you humans look the same to me. Excuse me, I'm looking for Moby Dick. Uh, he's there. There? Uh, no, not there. There. On the iceberg? Under the iceberg. I suppose he's still there. No one ever sees him, but we know he's there. Uh, mind the egg for a minute, and I'll go and have a look. But how? Well, like this. But... I'll be back in a minute. And watch out for the gulls. The what? The gulls. What did he mean? The gulls. They steal our eggs, eat them. Oh, vicious they are. I hate them. But he's there. Thanks. I'll find him. This must be it. But we have lost the war. 
If Tonga wishes to die on the sand, let her. It will save them the trouble of killing her. The water. It is people who must decide what happens to us. Why can't they just leave us alone? Alone. Once the sea was filled with music, where our children swam and played. When we sang, the echoes rang through waters green as jade. Now the sea is filled with silence, gone the sings, everyone. Empty oceans fret and sigh beneath the blazing sun. Why won't they leave us alone? When will our story be known? Let's share. having a whale of a time. The kids have got two-ton tonger completely fenced off. They're not letting anyone in. Reporters, cameramen, no one. Did I say no one? Wrong. No one except other kids. What next for tonger? Whale experts say she'll die if she doesn't get back in the water by tomorrow. So time's running out for Moby Jane down at Sandy Beach. Who goes there? <gasps> Dot! Dot! We thought you'd never come back. Gosh, look at you. Here. Oh, thanks. How is she? I don't know, really. Some man from the aquarium came down, said there's nothing wrong with her. She's not sick or anything from a wound. But she'll still die because of being out of the water. Two days, he reckons. Then she's a goner. Uh-oh. Here they come again. Sticky beats. We've been fighting them up all day. Real twits they are. Hang on. What do you want? Yeah. yeah. We don't want Daisy Parkers. Shove off. Can't you see she's trying to sleep? We just want to take a picture. No pictures. Go away. What do you think this is? A picture? Tonga, Tonga, I saw Moby Dick. I'm, I'm so sorry. He, he said that if you want to die, that's... 
your decision. Oh, I don't want to die. I love these children. They love me. But I can't return to the sea because the whalers will kill me. You can stay with me in Mrs. Pinkless's big pool. We'll all be together. We fixed them. They didn't like that much. See his face when we told him to buzz off? I don't do anything except stand around and stare. Only taking pictures. Oh, yeah. I'll do the fire. You do sentries. Grown-ups, they don't do nothing. They just get in the way. What's wrong? Did you talk to Tonga? Well, yes. It's no use getting her into the water. She's hurt. She can't swim. What are we going to do then? She... she wants to stay at Ocean World. She knows I'd look after her. Ocean World. I went there once. It's great. But it's miles away. What about a truck? You know, one of those big ones with a flat back. Gee, if only whales had wings. Oh, and shut up, will you? Dot? What's up? A flying whale. I was only joking. I know. What? what? How? But you'll have to help. You and the kids. Of course we'll help. help. You yeah. betcha. Good. Now listen. Tomorrow morning, this is what we're going to do. find your name anywhere. When was your appointment? Appointment? I think you're trying to make fun of me. Mr. Carlo doesn't see anyone without an appointment. It's very important. The matter is closed. I'm sorry. You will be sorry if you don't let me see Mr. Carlo. Go away, little girl. Because you're so awful, I'm going to blow my whistle. What? And when I blow my whistle, 
You'll be sorry. Get out. I'm going to blow my whistle. Come here. Ooh. You should have let me see Mr. Carlo. No, don't do that. Stop it. I want to see Mr. Carlo. No, get out. Help! Help! We want Carlo. 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 So, go away. Miss Farrow? What's all this about? Are you Mr. Carlo? And that's why Tonga's got to go to Ocean World. The crew, flight time, special carrying gear, short notice, that's around $5,000. $5,000? Well, I'm sorry, we can't do business. You won't carry Tonga? No. But you must. Must? Isn't your aeroplane big enough? We oh. carry anything anywhere. Then a medium-sized whale should be easy for you. I oh. run an airline here, not an animal welfare agency. So I can tell everyone that you could have saved uh. Tonga, but you didn't. Oh. Yeah. Blackmail. <laughs> Mr. Carlo, Mr. Carlo, what are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If you and that rabble aren't off my premises in five minutes, I'm calling the police, and you'll wish you'd never set eyes on this, uh, this, this bongo. Tonga! The five minutes starts now. Miss Farrow? Farrow? Sure. Show the young lady out. Save Tonga! Save her! Save her. Mr. Carlo, you're like so many grown-ups. You cause trouble, but you never want to fix it up. I just can't understand how a person as important as you can be so... so mean. Five thousand dollars? Might as well be five million. Oh, if we had longer, we might be able to... There's only one day left. Then Tonga will die. The whale man said so. I'm not going to let her die. And how much money have you got? I've got eleven dollars in my auto bank. And I've got two dollars twenty-three cents. And I have ten. That's twenty-three. You can have my birthday money. That's ten dollars. I'm saving up for a new bike. But I don't need a new bike. You can have my pocket money, too. And mine. Fifteen and twenty-three. And all that's coming. About fifty-five. All right, then. And that's only us. Oh, if everyone gave a dollar in a string. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Save Tonga! Save the whale! 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 Save Tonga! Save the whale!
after Tonga for a while. Mm, but how will Tonga... I've made arrangements. First thing tomorrow morning, we're moving Tonga to safety. Yay! All right. Did you hear? Everything's all right. They're taking you to Ocean World, and you don't have to go into the sea. Oh, Tonga, I'm so happy. Be careful. Left the man to left. You're going in a sec. 
no, 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 not in that way. Let me show you the Oh, Tonga, I'm so glad you're safe and well. <laughs> And soon after, Tonga was able to return to her cousins in the sea. But for many whales, they must live in constant fear from the dangers of men. Last year alone, 4,000 whales were killed by harpoons. What will it take for man to end his senseless pursuit of these beautiful and harmless creatures and allow them to live in peace? There's mystery and magic in the alley. 